can we just talk about the reality of putting yourself out online and saying, hi, I can help you with something. I've poured my heart into it. I have lived experience. I've invested a lot of money. And now here I am. Hello. I mean, honestly, self-promotion, if you're anything like me, is the most unnatural thing. It's not like we learn in school or in most of our families to stand up and brag about what we do and invite people to come with us. It it's just not natural. You know, when I started my online business eight years ago, I fully believed that if I did a Facebook post talking about my business at the time I had a personal training business, if I talked about that, I would think, oh, I talked about it a week ago. I don't want to annoy people. Let me, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait. (laughs) Fast forward to now, I'm currently promoting my Being Well-Known Boot Camp. I have made, oh, 15 videos, Uh, so many posts, so many emails. It's unbelievable. My past Jaya self could see me now, you know, going, hey, yep, we're promoting ourselves. And yet... I will tell you, those same fears exist. The fear that I'm being too much, I'm being salesy, that people won't think it's authentic, that I genuinely want to help, all of these fears still exist. And the only difference really between me and that woman who completely stayed on the sidelines and did not go for what she wanted is time. And different action. Truly. I would tell you that it's a different belief system because it is, but I would say that the belief system came because of the action. And this is not something that a lot of people talk about. In the online space, a lot of coaches are just super into, you gotta gotta believe it to have it and all this stuff. And I'm just, I just want to tell you, When I found out about the online space, I wanted to hire a coach because I had no idea how to do it. And this woman, Danielle, was referred to me. And I reached out to her. I had a call with her. And she's like, well, what do you want to do? And I explained to her, you know, well, I've been a life coach. I've been a personal trainer. And she's like, well, do you want to help more people? And obviously, yes, I did. But I did not believe that I could. I had no idea how that would actually look or what it would require of me. But I knew I wanted it. When I paid her $3,000 to coach with her for three months, my whole world was shocked, was rocked. It was shocked and rocked. I felt so much fear so much imposter syndrome, so much resistance, and I did not have the belief system built to sustain who that was, who that person who believed in herself that much was. But just the act of paying her the money and showing up on each of our calls created new belief for me. We started talking about my message and who do I want to talk to and how I need to start using video. And we started creating videos. Again, I didn't believe that I was good at them, but I did it. And I know that this is not what most people want to hear. And maybe you would rather hear me say, oh, you just need to write in your journal and you could future script or use affirmations. And all of that is fine. If you like it, do it. But there is nothing that is going to move your dreams forward like taking action. There is nothing that is going to create a new experience for you like action. There is nothing that is going to instill a new belief system that has you shouting from the rooftops how amazing you are in your main character energy saying, I have big dreams. Nothing is going to do that like action. And so my invitation for you is to look at where you have been thinking about it 
holding on to the idea of it, thinking you need to practice, thinking you need to be someone else, thinking about it. And decide what action you could take towards it. And this action can look as small as telling someone that you're going to do it. A big thing that I love to preach about creating accountability for yourself in your business is to commit outside of you while you're still scared. Because if you wait until you're not scared, you will be waiting for a long time. Fear doesn't resolve by staying the same. It resolves by having a new experience, creating new evidence, and allowing your nervous system to calm in the face of the stress of the new experience. That's how the shit actually changes. And so this idea of committing outside of yourself, I just love this. So say, for example, you're like, I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm going to do a Facebook Live training. Maybe you're in the BW and you know that that is one of the things I recommend to do when you're first getting your business visible is to do Facebook Lives on your personal page. For a lot of people, it feels very vulnerable. And that's okay. But it is a lot more visible than being in a private Facebook group or not doing video at all. And so something you can do is you can create an event on Facebook and set the time and the day and then you can invite all of your Facebook friends to the event. That is your live training and now you have just committed to something outside of you. Will you show up when 10 people register and say they want to come? Are you going to show up? Yes. This is the same thing I do when I'm going to do a launch. Listen, I don't want to do a launch. I don't want to be out here promoting myself 10 times a day. I don't really want to do that. But I will do it because I made a commitment to do it and because it is my business and it must be done. And so the way that I do that is I set the time and day, like this boot camp that I'm running on Monday has been in my calendar for a month, obviously. I've known when it was going to be. I picked the time and day on purpose, knowing how I was going to feel, when my moon cycle was, all the things, getting out of my own way, picked the dates, and started promoting it three weeks early, like three weeks before it starts. Because then I had maybe 20 people sign up those first few days. And I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? I'm going to show up. Now there's almost 500 people signed up. I am definitely 100% showing up. I'm going to be prepared. And whether it feels scary or not to do it is not the point. It's not the driver and it is not the deciding factor. So my whole point of view right now in this particular audio, is to give you permission to take action and give you a reminder to say, that is how we move our work into the world. No one will know if we don't tell them. And maybe this is the pep talk I needed because I'm going to continue to promote the boot camp. If you have not yet signed up, I will add the link in the show notes for you. And this is what we're talking about. I am never going to front and say, this stuff isn't what I work on. This is my own medicine. The medicine I have to offer people who sign up to work with me or people who join the membership is exactly this. It's from my lived experience. It's from being willing to do it scared and also being willing to do it at my own pace. I will say I I cannot share a message like this without reinforcing that this looks different for everyone. I will not tell you the specific steps to take. I will not tell you you have to invest $10,000, but I will tell you you probably have to invest something. That's why I have a membership that's $85 a month because it is so much more accessible than the Freedom-Based Business Academy that I ran last year, which was like 1500 a month. I mean, there are places to say yes. So I will say yes, it is very important to invest. 
Yes, it is very important to take action, to do it while you're scared, but you also need to check in with your resources and with your ability and with your nervous system. And so I I often stray away from messages like this because that nuance in general isn't added. And I find it to be a very important piece of this. So whatever it looks like for you to get outside the comfort zone, to take that action, even if you're scared, meet yourself where you are and know that it also is about allowing your nervous system to be triggered. It will be triggered. But if it feels too much or it throws you off, you know, then you back off and you go, okay, maybe that's a little too big. I mean, I'll be really honest with you. When I signed up to do Facebook ads for this launch, I got hives for a week. And some people might say, well, that that's not sustainable. That's not, but it is because I've gotten hives my whole entire life since I was a little girl. Before the first day of school, I would get overwhelmed. I would get scared. And so that to me, I know that I'm going to have to just live with that and that I can mitigate it, you know? So it's not easy. Like, I just don't want you to think that I'm over here going, oh, it's just so easy and my nervous system is regulated all the time. And it's it's not. I allow myself to get dysregulated by fear. Absolutely. But I also come back. Like, if I didn't ever recover and then I had hives through the whole launch and everything, I'd probably be like, yeah, that was too much. I'm not doing that again. Right? It's about the recovery. That is what resilience is. And it, it's individual for everyone, which is why I usually steer clear of just straightforward strategy, like you need to do this because you need to, yes, do something, but you also need to take care of yourself as you do it. So anyway, disclaimer, just giving you the disclaimer. Um, I hope this found you exactly where you are and touched you in some way. If you got value from this, shoot me a message on Instagram with Jaya Rose. Let me know that you enjoyed this. And I would love to see you in the Being Well-Known Bootcamp because this is about taking action. It's about promoting yourself. That is a great thing to commit to. If you commit to doing the three days of the boot camp, I've made it very simple and easy. It's short videos, a quick lesson, and you will feel so clear and motivated to show up in your business and super powerful. Okay, so I would love to see you there. Bye.